Hello everybody, my name is The Chef and welcome back to another One Piece Bounty Rush video. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at two duo units. Uh, a little spicy foursome, I like to call it. A donut with wings on his back, that being Marco and Ace. And uh, Law and Luffy, that being a, I don't know, a rubber man with a surgeon. Sounds like a weird uh, foursome porno video. In other news, if you take a look to the right there, there's a boss battle, uh, which is basically the seal clubbing simulator. Great fun. Um, don't tell PETA I said that. Uh, anyways, we're going to be uh, taking a look at Luffy Law first. He's actually really good, especially on this map. Still a very solid character. Uh, I'm just like doing these off-meta videos for now. Um, it's because everybody's been doing all like the modern like EXs and this and that. I'd like to just change it up a little bit. Uh, this guy's still solid. He, he's a very good support attacker. Um, great for doing uh, anti-heal. Great for pulling enemies off the flag. In, in other words, sucking them off like I'm about to do to this uh, king right here, this leather daddy. Hit him for a solid 11,000 damage right there, so that's pretty damn good. Uh, somehow we ended up targeting those guys, which was thankful for, or I was thankful for rather, because uh, I was probably about to get uh, crushed underneath those thick leather bound thighs of his. Um, luckily this Paro Sparrow came over here and just completely stole that uh, kill, which is fine, as long as we're uh, taking down the enemies. I ended up killing this ulti. She's a threat, obviously. She's a very tough unit uh, to fight against. It's my boy Fateh right here. Sorry, Fateh. We have a little, <laughs> a little battle, duel of the fates up here. Uh, kind of sensei versus student. Um, I ended up uh, missing a bunch of these things. I think I was lagging out a little bit, and of course I ended up clicking the menu. Typical move in my... Look at that. See, like the perfect dodge there kind of came late. Uh, ended up getting him, so that was a pretty solid duel right there. He almost got me at 800 HP left. Uh, yeah, I was... I don't know. I think I was dropping a loaf as I was filming this one, so I apologize for all the... Uh, <laughs> if this video stinks. <laughs> Anyways, we see Jack over here. We're going to help Jack off the horse instead of on the horse this time. Punch him here, let the, uh, the flame finish him off, and also actually hit that boa with an um, anti-heal. And then kind of just punch her out. Punching our lover, ending her life in a single, uh, single blow right there. I guess it was two blows, but uh, two blows to finish me off is a usual thing in uh, the real world. So... We're going to wait for this king to drop down before we uh, send out Law to anti-heal. Basically the circumcising attack. Because uh, once you remove that foreskin, there's no coming back. Unless you get some weird uh, foreskin reattachment surgery. Ending up killing that ulti again with that uh, about 16,000 damage. So again, pretty solid. This Luffy actually gets critical hit uh, boost, I believe, when your teammates die. So I'm not sure how that uh, Shanks attack just hit me, but... Uh, it's cool, you know, we can't win them all. He ended up chopping me up, hearing about uh, Law's for, uh, circumcision abilities, wanting to show off his uh, circumcising abilities of his own. I'm just going to run into uh, Luffy, or sorry, uh, what do you call this guy? Donut with wings, because uh, obviously if you've seen the show or the, read the manga, you know what happens to this fella here. I'm uh, just going to pop up a shield just in case so um, she wouldn't be able to get through here. I figured we had a lot of time left to spare. Uh, somebody was um, coming to run down and protect, I, I figured, so I just went down to protect mid. Um, didn't really end up... Uh, person didn't really end up protecting that flag as much as I would have liked them to. That was dangerously close to getting captured, but it's all good. We got a solid win here. Um, as you can see, that was kind of Luffy and Law's... Uh, original map. That was this guy stomping grounds when he first came out. He was almost unkillable. You just play like a bitch and hang out on that second floor. Uh, in this map we're going to be doing uh, just I think Marco and Ace mainly because I don't know if we die. That Hakuba is actually such a cool unit. Um, it's too bad I'm a broke ass bitch and we out here in the hood just snorting crystal meth off the fucking sewer grates downtown Tirana just tweaking at Tim Hortons on a Friday afternoon. Anyways, we're going back to the uh, the old way. Going to mid. Going to pop up our shield. Uh, this guy's quite tanky. His shield has about 150 of your um, HP. So you want to run this guy with max HP and max uh, attack. Because I believe he heals based off of your attack. So that shield is a really solid skill. 
This guy also excels when uh, your teammates are actually in the flag with you. I believe you do more damage and your skill 1 cools down uh, a lot faster. I, I remember this guy and Tanky Frankie when they when he first came out kind of just um, were really solid next to each other. I believe Tanky Frank had a similar trait where you um, do better when your allies are with you. Could be wrong, I could be thinking the complete opposite, but um, it was cool to just see laser beams uh, going through that big shield. Um, this guy's so good when you have ranged uh, characters as well that can just kind of shoot through that shield and just become basically a uh, fire squad. Ended up getting sliced by that Shanks, you son of a bitch. Luckily that Zoro came in clutch. And here comes the Booger Man himself, uh, Treble. What a terrible design for, a, you know, just a physically, not the most attractive man, but, uh, you know, we're not here to judge anybody based off their appearance. Except for that sick fucking Booger Man who looks like he uh, slings, I don't know, used condoms on the block for a quarter apiece. Jerking off punks for $15 a man. So, we're just going to put up that shield here so that Kaido can't get through. With the old Gandalf, you shall not pass. I think he ended up uh, doing the old uh, one-two trickaroo and actually just jumped over me like a complete legend. Um, I was going to just leave this, Kaido to, uh, this Zoro to fight Kaido because why the fuck should I be up here doing that? That Zoro should be able to theoretically handle him. Um, ended up just blowing my fire load over all over nothing there. Popping up my shield, going for the heal, but uh, realizing just now that I had anti-heal. This, I don't know what this treble's doing, he just looked like he was an alcoholic, just kind of tipsy on that uh, flag back there. He's going to go stop that person. It would be nice if he was down here shooting his boogers through my wall so I could slow them down and just completely obliterate them with my normals. Because his normals are pretty good if, uh, if you're in the flag, so... I knew that Shanks was going to go do some dumb shit like that, so I ended up uh, popping my shield and I watched him playing peekaboo. Uh, just going to go through, back and forth through the shield. It's a good way to kind of like play this uh, character, but this guy just one fucking swiped my goddamn shield. I don't know, I'm not the greatest at math, but that's a lot of HP that that shield has that he just took away in a single slice, so. Uh, scary fella there. Going to grab the shawarma plate. Um, obviously with all the accompaniments, of course, hummus, tahini, garlic, hot sauce, everything, brother. And, uh, we're gonna take out this king, like an absolute king we are. Um, didn't get the most points, but you can see we're just out here just trying to do our best role as a defender, so. Um, obviously, uh, well, the crackhead got the, uh, MVP, so whatever. We're just out here defending flags, so don't expect much from that match. Anyways, uh, Zone, Straw Hat, Attacker, Grand Line of the Tags. I wanted to be as tanky as possible and do a little bit more damage. Uh, here are the medals. You know the drill. Uh, it's a really solid medal set for Luffy. Also, the one I have for Ace is kind of cool for like skill one and a little bit of tankiness. But um, anyways, it's just something I threw together real quick. But that is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Uh...